guess. I was given these two rather interesting pieces of uh, crotch wood. They're obviously off the side of a trunk. They're from another woodworker uh, who didn't want to use these particular bits, but obviously thought oh, I might be able to make something out of them. They are quite impressive. The pattern here actually comes through very pronouncedly, obviously through there, and I think uh, I'm going to try and make something out of these. Now, they're a tricky piece of wood in terms of shape, so I think basically what I'm going to do is try and turn them into the naturally edged dishes, but I want to preserve as much of the bark as possible because it does seem to be wanting to stay on. So if I can, I'm going to try and preserve a lot of this bark. I'm going to try this piece first because I think it's slightly easier shape to deal with. This one's got a very big height variant side to side. This is a bit more even. And I've got the calipers out and basically made a guesstimate, sort of gone round, looked for a centre and then just sort of scribed it through, seeing what would stay and what I cut away. Want to lose this side predominantly, try and preserve as much of this, although this side is a little bit punky and I wouldn't mind losing quite a bit of that. So that's what we're aiming for. So I've got a centre, I'm going to mount this on a face plate. Uh, I'm probably going to trim it down before I do that, get it to a good size. So I've got this big overhang off this size and it's as balanced as possible and then take it from there. This piece is fairly well braced so uh, it does actually at least sit. So I'm going to try and keep some weight on it this side and uh, see if we don't get a tip out of it. Right, now that's roughly round and very roughly, I'm going to mount the face plate and put it onto the chuck and see what we can do about preserving some of this on the back and creating obviously a mount hole for the jaws. Oh, rattle gun is just the greatest. too big. So I'm just going to pop this back onto the pan saw, nibble that corner off because it's not what I'm using. And I'll be back in a second. Let's try and see if we can turn this thing. Try and get it now first into round and see roughly what I'm working with in terms of depth and stability. Um, sort of make a decision on where we are then as to what it regards with what I'm going to do here. Okay, I'll carry on down. I still think I want to round it a little bit more. Get rid of a couple of these flat spots, but still leave these in, these inclusions on this side because I think they're quite good. Let's see what we get to. I'm liking the way this bridge is developing bridge through the whole piece so I think I'm going to try and keep going see if I just bring that in a bit more uh, I don't go too much more but I think we're going to afford to go a little bit I think the punky wood isn't actually too bad let's keep going see if we can uh, drive on through get rid of that last flat
Okay, I'm going to leave the edge for a bit and have roughly got it where I want. And I'm going to now try and make a, a mounting point in the centre of this for the chuck to go in. Now, this could be interesting, but also be my first reveal of what's going on in this ridge. Right, the one issue I'm going to have, it would appear, is uh, getting down to some flat wood to actually chuck mount onto. Um, I don't really want to be doing it onto this bark too much. Uh, I'm going to use an expansion, I think, in the middle of it. Okay, as far as I can see that means the diameter is just about where I want it. So I'm just going to take it a bit deeper to get away from this uh, bit of bark here. It's going to be a shallow bowl, I suspect, by the time I finish it, but uh, I think this may determine some of the shaping as well. Well, certainly going to be different. Okay, it's designed for some decisions because as soon as I flip this, I'll uh, lose the option of bringing it back round. So, however, I finish the bottom of this, I've got to commit to now. Um, don't like this edge, so I'm going to try and soften that off. Um, See if I can expose a bit more of the timber maybe, just make it look a bit more interesting. Uh, outside edge I can make a decision on, but uh, hmm, not sure about this, we'll see where we're going. Yeah, I sort of like that a bit more. That's, I think I'm just going to smooth that in, I'm not going to leave the ridge there, I was vaguely thinking about leaving that as a bead, but I'm not sure I like that, I don't know. Right, so I'm going to have a play and see if I can do this bead, then if I don't like it, I'll take it off and do something else. Okay, well that's decided it, made a complete mess of that, so we're going for smooth. Okay, I'm just going to sand up this section. and. Uh, Get it flipped over onto its front and start working on the front, see what we've got. Okay, I've swung the piece round. I seem to have got a good solid grip on it anyway. And I think this will be what determines what it's finally going to look like this next cut. So let's see how we get on. Okay, I've got to be careful of the depth, I'm not going to be able to go too much deeper. Maybe the same depth again in the middle and keep it very sloped to the outside. And then I think I'm going to design that corner back into me. Because um, I'm not liking what it's looking at the moment, it's a bit clunky, I wanted something a bit more delicate. Got this big crack there, I'll just keep an eye on. Let's see how we get on. This is going to be the defining point, I think. Okay, so I'll carry on down a bit deeper. Yeah, I'll we'll still go a bit deeper on this. Not too much, but a bit. I'm going to come over to the side a bit more, I think, now. Try and narrow down this edge from the inside because it's a bit clunky still. Yeah, that's definitely getting a bit more like I want it. A big void here, but I don't think I'm going to fill that. I think I'm going to leave it. And a bit of a crack, but other than that, some strange spalting going on there, I think, as well. Okay, I'm going to try and narrow this edge down a little bit more. Mm, 
Right, I think that's about as deep as I'm prepared to go. Um, I think what I'll try and do is shape the back bit, because actually mostly the bits that are sticking over the back here, at the bottom, are the ugly bits that aren't really doing anything. So I'm going to give that a go. So there, I think I'm just going to do some gentle scraping. Okay, going to go with that, and I'll try it. Some work on the back now, see if I get a shape that's more pleasing to me. Okay, well, I've done what I do usually do at points like this uh, when I'm not sure about the project. Uh, I've stopped and I've thought about it overnight and I'm really liking what's going on inside the bowl. Uh, I'll give you a close-up of this in a minute. Um, I really like the way this piece is turning out, except I'm not happy with the back of it. I originally intended to keep a lot of this bark on, but it's not really doing much for me. And I can see what I've shaved away, the very nice quilting patterns that are below this. So I think what I'm going to do is round this out and try and make it feel a bit more like a delicate piece. Still leave this little bit of bark intrusion just there on. Um, but I'll probably end up losing, or will end up losing nearly all the rest of it. Uh, and I'll see what it looks like then. But I think it'll make it feel like a bit of a lighter piece. It's a bit chunky from the side, with not really much going on. So, let's give it a go, see what we get to. Oh, I'm going to try a camera angle as well. Good, it's all still nice and true. This is fairly dry wood. Okay. Because I can't mount it the other way around, I'm going to have to work down from the side here. Hopefully you've got to get a good view of that. Okay, well that's another let's see where we get to. I'm going to try and make this into a lighter feeling piece. Right, I think this needs just a little bit of a tune up. It's feeling a bit dull. going to be tricky working this close to the, the lathe. I'm just going to try and avoid clipping the chuck and see if I can uh, just clean up this edge. I'm going to try and round this over some more. Yeah, I think I like that a bit more. Right, let's get a good clean up the scraper. 
do what we can for the middle and then I'm going to have to hand finish the bottom of the bowl but we can sand that out, finish it and see what we've got. made the right decision there. I'm going to have a bit of work to do on the centre because I'm not prepared to take this right up against the chuck and risk the chuck and the tool coming together. But I'm liking how that's working a lot more than I did last night. Um, I think it's time to sand this up and see what we've got. Well, very pleased with the way this turned out. It's always a bit of a gamble when you're just designing with the wood and the decision to follow through on the back and actually lose most of the bark, although I originally intended to keep most of it, I think was the right call. Um, I really like the way it's turned out, the contrast between the, the sharp edges of the uh, turning and the natural edge I think works really well. Pleased with that. Okay, well enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.